so, they have enough weaponry to arm a legion, as well as several months of provisions. Hard to imagine this chapel fellow in command needs that many men just to take some so-called raiders into custody. We've received information that Dukes Aldrich and his army are en route to Norsferia to requisition the Empire's newly annexed territory. As for the reinforcements we requested, opinions in Eucharist are divided. The Chamber of Lords in particular is reticent to be dragged into what they view as a problem between Eltisvice and the Empire. It doesn't help that a tidy sum is riding on the Norsefarian purchase, and the Lords are fearful the deal will fall through. King Yuma Shireth, for his part, is amenable to providing troops, but the Lords have spooked him into inaction for now. That sounds like Yuma. Blast it. I should have foreseen the money issue. If that was part of the Dukes' hand, he's even craftier than I thought. Well, I didn't expect help to come right away, so at least there's a sliver of hope. Mm, sounds like we'll be hunkering down here for a few months until Eucharist comes around. Won't be easy. I did as her ladyship asked, and augmented Eltis Vice's food stores. We have enough for a year. Thankfully, time is on our side. The longer the war, the harder it will be for those noble dolts to feign blindness to the enemy's ambitions. So there it is. We fend off the Empire's first attack, then weather the long siege. I'm counting on you all. We won't let you down. Hmm... Noah, was it? Emir, give him command of a unit. What? My lady, just because Gar trusted the boy with temporary captainship of a very small company is no... He's clearly eager for more, and I'm sure Gar and the others will mentor him. Isn't that right? I've always been good at showing folks the ropes. Good. Because wars are shaped by the right narrative. So the story goes something like this, perhaps. Though the boy's home was raised by the cowardly Empire, he found the courage to take up arms in the face of despair. That'll work. Make sure it's the talk of every tavern and hall by the end of the week. Oh, I suppose raised is an exaggeration. An embellishment. Milady, if I may. Yes, Jinquis. What is it? You look... haggard. Yes, well... Fighting for your life will do that to a woman.
I was just about to come find you. They're holding a war council. It's happening. So this is it, huh? It's been a long two weeks. This will be your first big battle, right? Come on, let's go see what Gar and the others are up to. There's Noah. Our scouts report the Imperial Army is on the march. I need all troops in defensive positions. You are ready, I presume. Yep. Good to go. We'll win today. No matter what. Heck yeah! I like the confidence, but keep your heads out of the clouds. We're looking at a long battle here. <sighs> Those imps don't stand a chance! Come on. Defend your positions at all costs and step lively. Though we face just the one legion, sloppiness will still get you killed. We gotta stop those damn imps here and now. Don't let them set one foot inside the walls. Got it. There it is. The tiny nation that dared bear its fangs at the Empire. But even the runt of the litter must be brought to heel. Galdeans! Advance! Fight bravely. All of you. In the name of her ladyship! All of you. You shall not pass. Yeah, what he said. Apologies. We were delayed. Sorry. She was... I mean... The rune tank was having a bad morning. About time the Kessling boy arrived. Though the Dukes favors him, he will stay out of my way if he holds even a lick of sense in his head. The enemy 
He's here! We can't lose! You're gonna pay for every one of your pathetic lies. Attack! You chose to harbor the criminals who raided our lands. We've every right to seek justice. Lieutenant, are you...? I'm fine. Get ready. For the glory of the Empire! Isn't that... Noah. So he is here. For the glory of the Empire! Why do these insects simply refuse to be squashed? Too bad for you. We're the most stubborn pack of fighters you'll ever face. We just need to hold out a little longer. Fight for our friends. Our families, and our homes. And you will never break us! Ah! Of all the fool... General Chapel, sir. We... Uh... I know, damn you! Fine. 
We'll regroup and crush them later. Maybe in another lifetime. We did it! The enemy is retreating! Well, now. I'd say we've all earned a spot of rest. And with that, the trap is sprung. What? No, it can't be! Impossible. War isn't about soldiers scrabbling at each other trying to draw blood. War is breaking your enemy's spirit. Watching their eyes widen like frightened hares before a wolf. Bringing the meek to bay. He marched his entire army from Norsfaria? But none of our intelligence gave the slightest indication of... And an enemy's heart is never more vulnerable than in the moment they believe victory is at hand. That is when you reveal your greatest weapons. Overwhelming numbers and fear. Go forth, Galdeans! March as if none stand in your way! Become fear itself! This can't be happening! Damn it! Get to safety! Picar! Warriors don't die like dogs! They pick themselves up off the ground and they damn well survive! <sighs> You're right. Now, come on! Emir and the other soldiers are regrouping at her ladyship's manor. Take control of the town, and do try not to embarrass me in front of the dukes. Yes, sir! Quickly! You all made it. Where's Emir? Inside. How's it looking out there? They're closing at speed. Whatever we're doing, we better do it fast. Milady, we must get you out of here. Something! Protect her! I agree. There's no time to lose. We'll gather the remaining soldiers. And then take everyone and escape through the East Gate. What are you saying? You're coming with us, milady. Aren't you? No, I'm not. However, the distraction you create is going to help me escape. 
There's a secret passage by the manor that leads to safety. One of House Groom's little insurance policies. I'll use that while you make for the exit. But we should decide where we'll regroup, because I haven't even begun to fight. A secret passage, is it? Well, how about that? Oh, oh, I know. We should meet at that ruined castle we found. That's perfect. There's no way the imps will be able to squeeze all their men through that mine. Good. Then it's decided. Hmm. Very good. Then we'll meet you there once we make our escape. Your ladyship, you take Jane Quiss and... Uh, let's see. If you need a bodyguard, I am... Nope. This job's mine. I'm a strict follower of the mercenary creed, which is to stick with the person least likely to get murdered. You're not gonna make me break my creed, are ya? Wow, that's convenient. <sighs> Just take care of her. If that's settled, it's time to go. Good luck, my lady. Travel safe. You too, Emir. Uh, Noah, might we speak privately for a moment? Wait, me? I know time is short, but I would beg a boon of you. Uh, that's like a favor, right? In the offhand chance. No, in the one in a thousand chance I don't make it out of here alive, I want you to raise an army in my place. You want me to lead the resistance? No, because in 999 possible futures, I'm doing that. I'm only asking you to cover the one slim possibility that remains. Will you do it? Okay, but why me? <sighs> I had the privilege of observing many people as I grew up. And what I came to learn is that most people in this world cannot be trusted. However, there are exceptions. Not many, and they are difficult to find, but there are trustworthy people out there all the same. I'm asking because I think you're one of them. <gasps> also, you remind me just a bit of someone I once loved. Uh-huh. Now, be gone with you. You're supposed to be my distraction, so get out there and start distracting. Yeah, mule! Whoosh. Okay, okay, I'm going. And I promise I won't let you down. Good luck, Noah. The Chatterbox returns! So, how was your talk? Where to begin? He can tell us later. Noah, I want your team to take the Vanguard. Break through and open the East Gate. 
I'll follow once I've assembled the troops. Understood. You've come to the right healer. Let's move! I see him! They're here already? Hmm. Interesting. Got you now! Got you now! Exercise. Move. Move faster. The town is nearly in our grasp. General. The enemy stragglers are making a break for the East Gate. Hmm. That's where the Kessling boy is posted, isn't it? Yes, sir. The Lieutenant Kessling has asked us to send more troops. Nonsense. He can make do without. Begging your pardon, General. But his unit is just a few soldiers and the rune tank. From what I hear, the Dukes views Saint Kessling as a singular talent. So what, pray tell, does the Wonderkind have to fear from a few League stragglers? Have faith in the lad. get through the hard way hey you're with the watch let's do this got you now got you now
that's what you get. Training is the friend that never betrays you. Keep it moving, people. Almost to the east gate. Yeah, but look. I see. So no reinforcements will be coming. We're all alone. Well, that's fantastic. The thing is, sir. General Chapel, he... You don't have to explain that man to me. Paul, get the rune tank running. We'll use it as a barricade. Right! Lieutenant. Zane? Is that you? Noah. <sighs> You've seen what I've seen. You know this war is unjust. I do. However, my place is in the Imperial Army. And my house's responsibilities now fall to me. Look, you've got ambitions. I understand that. But my situation's changed, and I have to leave through that gate. Noah! Lieutenant! Stand down. Please. I cannot. You need only lay down your weapon. No. I made a promise. Convince you to walk away. Not a chance. So be it. Then my duty as an Imperial soldier is clear. Get ready, Noah. I am ready. Is he holding back? I'm not letting you stop us! <laughs> Surrender, Noah. This war is already over. Like hell it is. If you continue to resist, I will have to hurt you! doesn't change a thing. Very well. Have it your way. Why should my principles bend to yours?
very well. Have it your way. Why should my principles bend to yours? Surrender! I swear on my house's honor that you and your friends will be spared. It's not happening, Sane. And if you're gonna be stubborn about it... Fine, Noah. If neither of us will bend, then we will fight till the lesser man breaks. My turn! Try me! Here I come, Noah! Do your worst! Surrender and you will be treated fairly. House Kessling would never. Cousin! Did they hurt you, Annie? It seems our time is up. Noah, are you all right? Why didn't you flee with the others? I have a nasty habit of investigating my employers. And I'm pretty damn sure House Groom doesn't have a secret passage. You're the distraction. You did it to save everyone else. Then I ask again, why are you here? You could have treated us like pawns, but you never did. That kind of loyalty deserves to be paid an equal coin. Besides, you look like a lady with one last trick up her sleeve. Milady? Is he here already? Oh, heavens. But I applaud his efficiency. We meet again, Miss Groom. I don't recall seeing you on my calendar, Your Grace. <laughs> Ever proud, aren't we? I thought we might take this moment to discuss our future relationship. Are you about to propose, you cad? <laughs> Sadly, I am already married. However, if you are willing to reassess our other relationship, I will permit you to keep your status, your wealth, and this manner. A generous proposal, don't you think? You want me to join the Empire? To join you? What happens to the other League states? Their age has concluded. What concern is it of yours? I see you for the brilliant mind you are. Swear fealty to me, and the entire League will be yours. Oh, now we're talking. My offer pleases you. Oh, it's very bold. And 
It makes my skin crawl. A life of luxury beneath your heel? I'd sooner get down in the mud with the other soldiers and fight you to my dying breath. How dare you speak to his grace that way? Enough, Chapel. You impugn my honor, young lady. A fine jest to speak of honor. The Emperor of Galdia still draws breath, yet you carry yourself as if what's his is yours. <laughs> that is one opinion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe we're done here. You cheeky! <laughs> oh, but you are a fiery young woman. To choose sleeping in some barracks instead of the Empire's finest silks. Show Miss Periel to the gates. And if any man lays a hand on her, I'll have his head parted from his shoulders. I can see myself out. Oh, uh, milady. Your grace, how can you... It's just a woman and an old man. They pose no threat. Mark me well, dukes. The day will come when this woman erases the triumph from your face. That is a promise. Until then, I bid you farewell.